welcome once again to my world. It is my intention every day to focus my attention and to help you focus your attention on what is happening in our world as well as the potential that exists within each of us to create something higher, something better than what we have known currently in our world. When I say currently, I mean in the past. I would like to help everyone on the planet see a bright future instead of a bad future. I've been asked by the governor of the Florida Republic to address a meeting of the Florida Republic later today as the Secretary of State. And today I'm going to talk in this video on this subject. Leadership is a sacred trust. In recent days I've talked about the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth, I've talked about the British monarchy and the throne of David. Each one in the context of the ninth wave in the evolution of consciousness, especially the evolution of human consciousness. This universal consciousness, this new consciousness, is all about seeing unity in the diversity of our world. It doesn't work by exercising power over anyone other than one's own self, but rather a spirit of cooperation. It's a sacred trust to protect the rights and the property and yes the opinions of every individual. When I agreed to become Secretary of State I saw it as an opportunity to serve my brothers and sisters to enable my brothers and sisters to help regain their inherent God-given rights as human beings, to protect the individual sovereignty of every soul, and to help every soul see its place and responsibility, working together for the greater good of the whole. Always the whole is in mind. As I came to the computer this morning, there was a, an email that was sent to me and quite a few others in the Republic of Florida from Jim Robinette. And I don't know Jim, but I'm going to read one of his paragraphs. Well, I'm going to read the first two paragraphs. or three. <laughs> he wrote, ladies and gentlemen, I for one am quickly approaching the position of absolute wonderment in viewing and hearing over the past few months the disagreements relating to the Florida Republic. I cannot understand the bickering and the I want to be in charge attitude presented by some of our elected officials. If we are to make the Republic a reality and one which is respected by members and non-members alike, this power struggle and constant bickering must cease immediately. No one individual is going to ever completely agree with any other individual. This is evident when one looks into the concept referred to as human nature. I truly believe we need to be, or we need to change what we currently are forced to live under. He wrote that very well and what he said is extremely important. We live in a world where leaders have long 
seen their role as dominating others. Not seeking the consent of the governed, but by governing, dictating to others what they can and can't do, what they can and can't say, and even if they could, what they can and cannot think. It's always us versus them. We are the leaders and they are the sheep. Those days are rapidly coming to an end in this ninth wave as the human soul is awakening. It's not happening with every individual on the planet. I wish it was. I wish there was a catalyzing event. The New World Order envisioned by the current elite that have ro ruled the world for a long time, their catalyzing event was 9-11. They saw that as the opportunity to, to exercise greater control and greater authority and greater cohesiveness of their plan to dominate every man, woman, and child on the planet, every nation and every city and every village. I have a different vision. For me, leadership is a sacred trust. It's an opportunity to serve. It's an opportunity to be an example and to teach by example what it means to love your brother and to love your sister. What it means to be a child of God. serving with an attitude of respect and honor for life, for all life, for all sentient beings, for all souls. That's what I thought I was getting into in the Republic movement. But as Jim Robinette says, there's this thing called human nature. You know, I don't believe human nature is what we think it is. I believe human nature is designed to work at its best when people learn to keep the golden rule. And it's not he who has the gold rules. The golden rule is do unto others as you would have others do unto you. The golden rule recognizes the sacred trust that I am my brother's keeper. I am the protector of my brother's and my sister's right to self-expression, to living a life from the dictates of his or her own heart and soul, to protect to the death, if necessary, my brother's right to be free my sister's right to be everything she wants to be in all of her nurturing capabilities, all of her compassionate expressions of heart that have been silenced by the patriarchy in its domination over the feminine aspects of our nature. Human nature is not to do evil, though it may appear that way. It is the system of lies itself that has produced that human quality of feeling like it's separate from and needs to compete with everything else in order just to survive. It is that false premise, that false concept, that has created what we call human nature. But that is only the human nature of slaves enslaved by lies. Lies that come from our religion, lies that come from our governments, lies that come from every quarter of our consciousness. But they're lies nevertheless. What is truth? The truth is every single one of us is a part of what we call God. 
It is so far beyond all of the things that we have used to separate ourselves one from another and to try to exercise control over or to be controlled by another. The other is a part of me. Can you not see that? I can see that. For me, leadership is a sacred trust. It's not about corporations. It's not about laws that limit. It's not about taking control of assets or natural resources. It has nothing to do with the world that we have known. The world is changing. I want you to see the way it has been is not how it will be. Those are my words from a poem written over two years ago. Is the world changing fast enough? Sometimes it doesn't seem so from my perspective. Because people have a hard time understanding the role of leadership. There's nothing wrong even with a monarchy. If the heart of the king or queen is for the people and does what the Queen of England has always promised to do, and that is to uphold the law of God. What is the law of God? Jesus summed it up well. Love your creator and your creator's creation and love your neighbor as yourself. It's all based on love. That is the law. And it's the only law that will ever work in any culture, in any civilization. Civilization will always disintegrate if that law is not applied. As I said, leadership is a sacred trust. There's nothing wrong with having presidents or prime ministers. There's nothing wrong with having governors and other pos others in position of leadership. And it doesn't matter what name you put on the leadership position. As long as the people that hold those positions understand that they are given the responsibility of holding a sacred trust in honor for all the people. That's the difference between a republic and a democracy. In a democracy, the majority can overrule the minority, can take the rights and the property of the minority by vote. In a republic, every right of every soul is protected. Even the minority of one is still protected. That's the difference between what we're establishing as republics around the world and establishing democracy around the world. Democracy can devolve into mob rule when leaders break their sacred trust and think that leadership gives them the right to dominate others. I would like so much for everyone to get it. I think I do get it. In this moment, certainly that is the case. And certainly any leadership position I'm ever put in whether it's manager of something or whatever the title. My responsibility, my first responsibility is to recognize the sacred trust of that position and to serve because that's what the kingdom of heaven is all about. That's what the ninth wave is about. That is universal consciousness, that is unity consciousness, and it does create a different paradigm for human nature. Not based on survival, but based on service to all. I bless you this morning, wherever you are. Whatever time of day you're listening, 
whatever your state of consciousness. And I exercise leadership by showing you an example of a heart that has been able, by the grace of God, to grasp the principle of godly leadership based on service and love. I recognize the divine man and woman you are, and I encourage you to be more than you ever thought you could be, and most importantly, to recognize that you've never been disconnected from God ever except in your own mind and therefore your own experience. But that's the illusion. I ask you to see beyond the illusion and to step in to your personal power, which is power to be the divine man or woman that is inherent within your very nature. The divine human nature that is awakening. Namaste.